Three Rivers Park District is a special park district in the state of Minnesota. We are responsible for operating over 30 parks and 150 miles of regional trail, as well as a large number of special recreation facilities. The park district is spread over near the size of Rhode Island. We have over 10,000 trees that are considered assets that we have to manage. GIS shows that we're more than just about mapping trails and mapping even trees. There's a whole um, slew of things that we, we have to manage and that things that if they go wrong, people could get hurt. We have an underground utilities program. We have miles and miles of electrical, sewer, water lines. And we have outdoor lighting facilities. We have over 400 buildings we have to manage. So we have all the, all the challenges that a, a city would have for sure. It's, it's a lot to manage and GIS really helps us solve that problem. Three Rivers Park District has been using GIS for 15 years and is now used by literally every department in some fashion or another. In forestry department, the inventory system that it, um, used to be very paper-based and a lot of paper was turned into a, a secretary who hand-typed it into a system. She would be regularly three months behind she was a hard worker, it was just the sheer volume of what she had to enter into the system. And so they would all, in addition to entering into the system, they would also have to keep track of their inventory by hand as well. Um, we are now at the point where their expectations are so high that we actually get complaints if the inventory system is out of date by 15 minutes. GIS has significantly improved the, the accuracy uh, of, and the speed with which that inventory is updated because it can be updated as changes occur. The Park District, for the first time about a year ago, had uh, decided to finally go down the route of public-facing GIS. And this was a vision, a collaborative vision between GIS and our marketing department. If you go to the Park District website, you'll see on the Parks and Trails page, there's a Park Finder type app where you can click on a park or you can click on an activity and it'll show you where those things are in our Park District. And that's key to, our, to the way we want to market our parks to people just because they are so spread out. GIS is the navigation of our website. 